What? What is it? Action. Remember when you said we stay together now until forever. Just us, just us. Said we wouldn't be like all the others. Fight and hurt each other. Not us, not us. You know, <laughs> let's just be honest, this is really having to do with my accident. Hey guys, so I know that I haven't really been updating anything on social media, so I just wanted to tell you all that my surgery, while um, I'm still in trauma at La Jolla Scripps Medical Center, um, uh, basically this is the results, that is pretty much what happened, they had to do surgery on my large intestine, they had to do surgery on my kidney because there was laceration and bleeding, uh, my hip was disconnected from the muscle, and something to someone, so here's the thing is that if you are going to openly give to someone, it is none of your business after that point where your hands give it to theirs, you are doing something out of your heart, I hope, to give something to someone. It is no longer your business what happens to that item. If you have an issue of where it's going to end up, then keep it. And that's something that I think a lot of people don't comprehend is that when you give, you are giving. And if you aren't giving, then it's none of your business. When you give to someone, you hope with intention that it goes towards A, B, or C. And if it doesn't, you know you gave it. And good, you helped them get what they wanted in life. And you did something out of your heart to contribute and to love and to show that you cared. And to me, that's what matters. And I think a lot of people don't comprehend that. And they, they have this jealousy or resentment or anger and... You know, <laughs> let's just be honest. This is really having to do with my accident. It keeps popping up because I tried... I had a GoFundMe, I got kicked by a horse back in April, and <sighs> the hardest thing was I did not want a GoFundMe. I did not think that I needed the help, and let me tell you what, to all the people who, who helped me, thank you. And here's how I look at it. Money is hard to get. It's even harder to keep. But to give it away is the hardest thing you can possibly do. And so when I got kicked, I could not believe the outpouring of love that people gave to me and helped me. And I, at the beginning, I told him to delete the page. I didn't want it. I didn't need anyone's help. <laughs> well, I was very wrong. Very wrong. And I can't tell you how much you guys have helped me. How much it inspired me that strangers truly were just outpouring what they had. Whether they had it or not, they still gave it. And to see that and to feel that and to know that this was like genuine giving and then to kind of, I guess that's, you know, where I'm getting at with being in Costa Rica with everyone loving and giving and outpouring is it's just like, there are so many good people in this world and I know it's really hard to see that at times when you're being bullied, when you're being ridiculed, when you feel like everyone's ganging up on you because I've been there. I've been in very dark places, but to know that these people who had no idea who I was, heard I got kicked by a horse and had to have trauma surgery and I have a daughter, and knew what was going to happen, some of them, and some of them didn't. Some of them were just like, oh, she got hurt, here's some money, because, you know, that that's 
that's how they feel. That's how they feel in their hearts. They feel like, oh, this person's injured and I have it, so here you go, or I don't have it, but I want to help. And that means so much to me because I bought a car on April 1st and I got kicked on April 5th. I was supposed to pick it up on April 5th because they had to do last minute touches to my car. Sure enough, the GoFundMe starts. I'm in the hospital for five days. I get out of the hospital on the 10th and everyone, you know, is just outpouring this love and this hope and their energy and their money and their time. And the hardest part about it was I knew, I almost said, you know, stop it. I don't want it because I already played the scenario in my head. Someone's going to see my car. Someone's going to think that I used that money to buy my car. And then this whole blow up is going to start. And I was kind of sitting there. But then I also was thinking, I have a daughter. I can't run my business. I had two horses, which was low for me at the time, to resell, to rehome and resell. I had two horses. I had to think, how am I going to help my daughter over months? Because this wasn't just like, oh, you're in the hospital for a week and then you're out for a week and you go back to work. First, not only did I buy a car, I moved into a new place in Carlsbad. And because I, you know, I was doing good at my job. I ride these horses and I was finally past that year mark and in that comfort zone where you're like, I got this. And, you know, everything's on your high. Well, when you hit your high horse, sometimes the universe and God tell you, hold on. Take a step back. You need to appreciate what you have here right now and stop riding this horse so high that you're going ahead of yourself. And that was my wake-up call. It was literally my wake-up call that I needed help. I needed people. I needed to have relationships and understand that giving is more important than whatever your self-ego is. And to me... I couldn't thank the people enough who gave to me and I also couldn't thank the people enough who not necessarily meant to but that hurt me. I had a lot of really close friends that when it came out that I had a new car and I just had an accident I had to go fund me and all these things slammed together. I had people the actual, actually, the one person who posted, I put a Snapchat because I was finally, I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, I have this car. Like, I finally have my car. And I posted it, not even with the GoFundMe money transferred into my account yet. I was proud of myself because of my hard work over the past year and the bonus that I got for my horses doing well. And I got this car and I was like, you know what? I'm going to put on my Snapchat. I'm going to just have, because it's a very close group of friends I had. And the one person who screenshot it and put it on Facebook surprised me. I forgive her, number one. Jumping to the conclusion is something that we all do. And I've done it before. I've assumed something that was not true and I was mad and flustered about it, yet I didn't have the facts. And that's the situation that happened. And it just all kind of was bad timing in a sense, but I'm also very blessed because I did work for what I... You kind of put up a guard. And it's one that I never really wanted because I'm very forgiving. I'm very like, okay, you did this to me, but in, give me three days and we're good. Like, that's always been my mentality. And so with this one, it was, a li it was definitely hard to like, for myself, trying to figure out who I am being able to put this all together, what happened, how they feel, how I feel, this true situation and the opposed situation. So you have this diamond and you have to all kind of meet in the middle and you have to understand that number one, forgive and forget. That's huge for me. And number two, you have to know that where your heart lies and that's one thing that I'm very thankful about is so many people truly knew me better than the group that kind of almost went after me when I was in a low and I was hurt. And it's funny because the people who helped me, some of them have never met me. Some of them are basing it off of my grandma and my aunts and the church and um, just, you know... Or they're just helping a stranger. And that's something that I feel like down here it would be 
a stranger helping a stranger. And I think that that's where, you know, it was funny because at the end of the day, the people who were struck by the situation, this, this diamond, were not people who helped. And I don't, I don't want them to be. But the people who did help had the intention that when you give, they gave this gift to you. And you are going to do what you're going to do with it. And it was funny because I went on and I had this post of, you know, I worked for my car and blah, 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 blah. And it was funny because all the people who gave had nothing bad, no ridiculing, nothing mean, nothing that was not positive. And I was in a low point and I needed help. And I was like, no, 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 no. And then finally I thought about it and I was like, wait, horses to feed, kid to feed, self to feed, how I was going to make it with bills like rent and your car payment and insurance and health insurance and oh, you know, your life is gonna throw at you. And just thank you to everyone who thought about that when I wasn't thinking about that because without those donations and that help, I would not have been able to get through that really hard four months of not working. And it's like, I was moving and I was trying to get home and I was, you know, I had to walk downstairs and how was I gonna do that? And how was I gonna go physical therapy? And people like, and my teeth, I had to go to Mexico to get my teeth fixed. Thank you, Washington Dental. I had to go to Mexico to get my teeth fixed because in my initial accident, they didn't x-ray my mouth. They didn't have proof that my teeth were broken. So I had to get four teeth taken out, removed, new ones put in there, and I would not have been able to do that without those donations. At Workers' Comp, you get like, I would say truly, I was making around probably 35% because here's the thing is that here's Workers' Comp and you get it based off your salary base pay, okay? But here's the thing, I get a weekly bonus, I get a monthly bonus, you know, you get these little bonuses and those aren't included. So you live a lifestyle of this price range and then it's like, oh crap, I'm not getting the little extras I usually get are not a part of this. So then you're sitting there and you're going, well, I'm now making under what my bills are by themselves. And that's scary. And that's where thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who made the smallest donation to a large donation because you helped me get through that so I was able to know that I was still going to be okay. And that is so huge. Like, I cannot stress enough knowing that, like, you know, here's the amount of time. Here's what I have to figure. Here's what's going to happen. What do I spend money on? But knowing that I had funds that I wouldn't have had without it, I would have been screwed love and support you thank you the people from my gofundme and my accident thank you so much without people believing in me i don't know if i would have gone back to the track but i had so many people cheering for me that it gave me the motivation and the heart to go back to it and so you know whatever it is whether it's your career your breakup whatever just take the positives out of life take whatever you've learned Take those happy moments and turn them around and utilize them. And all the negativity that comes into your life, you know, negative nances exist. The world is full of people that don't want to see the positivity. And you know what you do? You appreciate that person because they're there right now. And you smile and you try to make them see little bits of light. And eventually you hope that they will. And if they don't, then bye. Lates. See you later. I'm not dealing with that. Cut them. As hard as it is, is, I have friends that I don't really talk to because all they want to do is be negative. It's life. It's going to happen. So you know what? Accept it or don't. But that's realistically what you need to do. And um, thanks for listening. I kind of obviously needed to vent out about my accident. And it's hard. It's hard to talk about because I lost some really cool people. This relationship with these people has changed for the most part. 
I have um, forgiven them. And I say hi to them. And I will keep saying hi to them, whether it makes them mad or happy. Because at the end of the day, you know what? I care about these people. And I'm not going to let some one incident affect that. These are people that I've learned to love for certain things, and that's how I am. I will always, if I have ever seen the good in someone, I will always see the good in that person. And you could do anything bad, but at the end of the day, you know what? We all make mistakes, and we all do things that hurt other people, and we don't mean to necessarily. And to me, I'd rather say hi, good morning, than not. So, that's that. Okay couple other little things but I just wanted to say a huge thank you because the love from you guys has been so amazing and overwhelming and I'm just really happy that I have people out there who care so much so thank you guys all for your messages your emails your presents your gifts your prayers um and thank you guys so talk to you soon Bye.